Hello guys, Mel here with Abstract Fitness. So for two days workout, we're gonna need weights. So you can use only one, and I like you can have a heavy one for legs, and maybe a medium weight, maybe between five, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, for one arm roll. And then we're gonna use your elastic band. So the thing is with elastic bands, there's different um, intensity. So there's very light ones, so check that at the store. So very light, light, there's medium, there's hard and heavy, okay? So choose your band and let's start. Okay, let's warm up. I'm gonna start with a step touch. And we're gonna add a little bit more intensity. We're gonna do the same cardio that we're gonna do for the workout. Okay, like this, right here. Yeah, I feel this stretch in my quads, I'm still sore. For the last workout I did, and yesterday I did a nice bike ride. Good, knees up. There we go. So keep your upper body nice and tall. Again, give me four, three, two. Let's go back to step touch. So some people skip the warm up, guys, and you know what? It's a big mistake. You you put at, uh, yourself at risk of injuries. Let's give me again leg curls. If you want to add little bit more intensity you can do a jack and we're going to kill the legs even more don't worry about it i'm just starting slow good and again knees up feel your body temperature going up feel your heart rate as well going up open your knees right here there we go again for four three two step touch and then we're going to go in skater Let's go. Again, you can do a baby one. Or you can add a little bit more intensity. Okay, four, three, two, that's it. Leg curls, again, you keep it really packed. Or you jog, or jog bigger. If you want to bring your heart rate up, cross your arms. Every time we bring the arms, above your heart. It's gonna bring your heart rate up faster. Good, knees up. Again, you can keep it low impact. That's it. Open your knees. In four, three, two, and step touch. Are we feeling warmer already? I am, which is good. Good. Let's arm, let's do some arms here. Warm up your shoulders. Good. Press in front. So tuck your toes behind you. Contract your glutes. Four, three, two, and cross your arms. That's it. Again, four, three, two, and then right here, you're just gonna open your shoulders and chest. Dynamic stretching. Keep your legs moving. You can do skipping rope. In four, hang in for three. In two, and last one. Walk out push ups. Nice and tall. Try to keep your knees straight as well. Let's go. Walk down. You can drop on your knees to do your push up, or you do it from your toes and all the way up. And again, down. Choose your version, choose your options. If you want to add the jump, go for it. That's it. Okay, one more, let's go. There we go, good. And release. Woo. Let's go back to step touch. Now we're gonna do the cardio that we're gonna do in the workout. Okay, let's start with squats and lunges right here. So on your way up, exhale, contract your glutes to complete the movement. Squeeze and squeeze. Keep your toes, press your heels as well, right on the floor. Good. Now we're gonna add the jump. So you can keep it 
small. Some of you don't like turning because you get dizzy. You don't have to. Do it on the spot. There we go. Turn the other way. Good. And release. Step touch. Are we feeling warm now? Okay. We're going to do lunges. We're going to lunge back. I find it easier as well for my knees. And twist. Switch your legs. Right here. And twist. Woo. So bring your arms here and out by your hip. Inhale and exhale. Imagine you're rowing. You're in a canoe or a kayak. There we go. That's it. Good. And release. That's going to be your third cardio. Twist. Stand out in four, three, two, good, and release and march. Or let's go back to step touch. We're gonna do the third one, high knees. So that's gonna be your second cardio right here in the workout. Of course, you can keep it low impact. Open your knees, four, three, two. That's it, and release, and let's go back to step touch. I think we're ready now. We're gonna do the dynamic stretching, and then we're gonna start the workout. So bring your foot in front, toes are up, inhale. Exhale, down and back. So feel the stretch right behind your leg. Good, and let's switch your legs, same thing. Good. And release. Open your legs. We're going to bend just one knee at a time. And bring that straight leg towards the floor. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs and keep your body nice and tall. That's it. Good. Four. Three. Two. Beautiful. One more each side. That's it. And release. Yay! We're ready. Option one. You're going to do a lunge and you're going to twist. Keep the same leg because as you know, we're going to switch legs for the second set. Okay? Option two. You're going to grab your heavy weight. So you can go 10, 20, 30, maybe 50 pounds. So you choose. Ready? Lunge back and twist and come back. So you can point your toes on the floor, okay? Or you can do knee up for doing a little bit more balance. And as you know, I like doing a gentle kick. Choose your option. Let's go. Come on, guys. There we go. I want you to feel that burn right in your quads, maybe in your glutes as well. And take your time, I much prefer quality than quantity. And if you're getting tired, release your leg, uh, release your leg, release your weight, and just keep going. Okay, again, give me four here. In three. In two. So make sure your abs are tight. And last one. Good. Good. Push forward. March it out. Okay, switch your weight for lighter. And we're going to do a single arm row. using my left leg in front I'm gonna keep the same leg okay shoulders down and back keep your shoulders parallel to each other and go inhale down exhale up that's it so abs are tight five four Three, and two, last one, that's it, and 
release. Good job. Okay, cardio. Put your weights away. We're gonna do cardio squat. So you can stay right here, or you can turn, but of course, make sure you're not feeling dizzy. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. I've started. <laughs> Come on, almost there. If you want to switch side as well, go for it. I'm just gonna switch side for the second set. Good, and release, and march. Second set, ready? So choose the same option that you've done with your left leg in front. Grab your weight or no weight, you just use your body weight. Ready? So let's go down, twist, and come up. Choose your option as well. On the way, you're gonna finish your movement. Then you can do a gentle kick. But take again your time. It's okay if you lose your balance, it's normal. There we go. Just catch your balance back. Stay on your feet. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I have increased my weight a little bit. Just five pounds. It's not a big deal, but ideally, Keep the same weight for the same leg. <sighs> Almost there. Give me three. <sighs> Yahoo! And two. <sighs> Last one. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Put your weight down. Grab a lighter one for rows. my right leg in front. I'm going to keep my right leg. Shoulders down and back. Hinge with the hips. Abs are tight. Switch my arm. <laughs> Ready? Go. So again, feel it right in your glutes. Woo! I love the burning. Come on. That's it. Five, four, three, two, two, last one. There we go. Done. Cardio. Are you ready? You do squats or you turn. Go. So, like I said earlier, I'm turning the opposite way. If you don't like to turn, jump on the spot. Just like that. Same thing. If you want music, guys, go for it. I don't want to do it to do it because of copyright. I don't want to get in trouble. There we go, done. Oh, and just walk around, have water. Are you ready for the second set? I'll show you option one. So open your legs, we're gonna do a squat. So inhale, one, two, three, come back up, contract your glutes. That's gonna be option one. Option two, you're gonna use the elastic band. Again, choose the intensity of your elastic band. Usually we can go heavier because we are using legs. So you're gonna grab it very low, then lift the chest for me, okay? That's your start. We're gonna go down, three, two, one, all the way up, contract your glute. That's your option two, okay? Option three, you're gonna bring it behind your elbows. Same thing, let's go. Three, two, one, up and contract. Exhale up, inhale to lower, exhale up. That's it, there we go. Good, and again, give me six more. Do you feel the burn? Five and four, three, show me your belly button, two, and one more right here, 
There we go. And release. Push ups. So, you know, I gave options. I have three here for you. So, you can stay on your all fours if you are just starting. Engage your shoulders, engage your abs. So, bring your abs right into your spine. Inhale, exhale, up. Or you can do it from your, your, your knees or right from your toes. Okay, ready? Go. Six more. If you need a break, go for it. Good. And slowly release. Cardio. Okay, cardio, high knees. You keep it low impact or you go four knees up. Let's go guys, 30 seconds. There we go. Halfway there. You're doing good. Keep going. 10 more seconds here. See, I'm sweating. That's good. And release. March around. Again, let's have water. We'll go back again. Second set. Okay, same option for you guys. Body weight or use your elastic band. Okay, ready? Pulses for three. One, two, three, all the way up. Contract your glutes. Again, three, two, one, all the way up. Show me your belly button. So bend your knees, bend your hips. Like that. Are we starting to feel it? Woo. Seriously, I'm hoping I'll be sore again tomorrow, even maybe this afternoon. When you start doing exercise, it takes sometimes two days before you feel something. That's called the dumb. Good. Give me four. Yeah. In three. That's it. Two. Last one. Good. And release. Push ups. Again, choose the option. As you can see, I'm not very strong in my chest. I'm still doing it on my knees. If I do it on my toes, I can do between 10 and 20, and that's about it. Okay, shoulders down, away from your ears, abs are tight, let's go. Five more, you need a break, take a break. Three, two, good, and release. Cardio, honeys. Ready? Let's start. Again, BP once or bring your knees up. So when I teach my classes, I love teasing. So I go, woo! I go to my participants and I put my hands right there. You need to bring their knees up towards my hands. Ten more second. Come on. Almost there. Let's go for five, four. Three, two, voila. Good. March around again. Have water. We're going to start your third round of exercise. We're almost done. Okay, let's go in plank and then downward facing dog. Pike up. I'm going to touch your feet or you know what? You can stay just right here for your option one. Option three, touch and touch. This is so good for your shoulders. And we are stretching at the same time the back of your legs. Good. So bring your arms into your spine. Try to be very stable at your hips. Four, three, two, one more each side. Good. And release. Side plank. You can do it from 
your forearm, it's easier for your wrist, especially if you do a lot of computers. So option one, right here on your knees, and you turn. Option two, you're gonna extend one leg. Bring that hip up towards the sky, and turn. Option three, round your feet, and we're gonna turn. Ready? Go. Inhale to open, exhale to go under. channel you're all there and again for four three and two last one good and release side plank choose your option ready let's go inhale exhale twist under inhale to open exhale to roll Four, three, two, good. Last one. We stay right here. Keep the hip up. Let's go. Four, three, two, two, good. And release. Cardio. Ready? Go. Again, maybe I'll go higher or bring your knees even higher if you want more intensity. That's your last cardio, by the way. We're done after. I have one more exercise to work your core, and then we're gonna stretch, and voila. Again, for five, four, three, two, and release. Walk around, have water, Grab your mat, let's go on the floor. Okay, grab a cushion, or if you have a ball, even a small, or even a stability, stability ball, the big, big one. I have one as well, but I want to show you what we can do from what we have home. So you're gonna go right on your back. Put the cushion right between your knees, and you know I give options. So when we bring the abs into our spine, see it should be hard, but bring your lower back against the mat, open your arms, your side, palm facing down, Bring the back of your shoulders in contact with the mat, but rib cage should be down as well because I don't want to see that, okay? And then bring the knees up. Option one, you're going down. You don't need to touch. I want to see that your lower back is staying down against the mat, okay? Option two, you're gonna put it right at your ankle. You're going low. When you feel your lower back is gonna lift, you're gonna stop, go back up, okay? Option three, you're gonna exchange the cushion 
or your ball between your hands and your feet. You can also do it with the option one. So bend your knees right here. Option two, when your legs are straight, but I'm not touching the floor. So then don't let your feet touching at all. Choose your option. Come on. Bring your eyes into your spine. Inhale up, exhale to lower. The problem is people don't have core anymore by working behind a desk all day long. They don't have that anymore. So their hip flexors are tight and short. Same thing with their hip flexors, uh, hip flexors are hamstrings. So it's important that we rebuild your core muscles. There we go, one more. And release, then we're done. Oh, I have a good sweat, trust me. So let's come back. We're gonna do a nah, maybe seven, 10 minute stretch. So let's sit on your mat, legs are straight. I want you to hand from the hips, so shoulders are down and back. Come forward, if you don't touch your toes, that's okay, stay right here, stay nice and tall, or grab the toes. And I want you to just relax your shoulders, try to relax your arms as well. By bringing your toes towards your nose, you're gonna feel it as well in your calf, and of course your hamstrings. <sighs> feels so good. Try to hold it if you have time close to a minute. There we go. And release. You're going to cross your right leg over your left, so my right, your right. And we're going to stretch your glutes. So I'm using my left arm around my knee. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders, look back above your right shoulder. Usually glutes, I hold it maybe for 10 seconds, 15 max. We sit too much. They are overstretched. But I like the spinal twist though. Good, and release. Let's switch your legs. Same thing, before you go, drop your shoulders, open the chest, and twist. And release. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left, right here. Walk your heel closer to your glutes and walk your hands as well closer to your glutes. Drop your shoulders, bring your chest closer to your leg. <sighs> Feel the stretch right in your hip. That's it. So make sure you're keeping your right hip down on the mat. If you don't have a mat, use a towel. Good, and release, let's switch your legs. Notice the difference between both legs as well. There's always one tighter than the other one. So drop your shoulders, open the chest, shoulders. <sighs> Try to push your knee away from you. You're gonna feel it more. I'm still sweating. Nice. Slowly release. Let's go in runner lunge. So you're gonna bring your knee, fasten your toes, press your heel on the floor, and press your hip as well. So retract, I'll bring your shoulders down away from your ears. So we're stretching your soleus, we're stretching your hip flexors. Just keep breathing here. Good, and release. Two 90 degrees at your knees, we're gonna stretch hip flexors and quads. So tilt your pelvis, reach up with your right arm, left leg is right here. 
and let's go to the left. So opposite arm at your front leg. Lift the chest. So same thing here, we should be able to hold it for a minute. And then let's twist right here. So bring your hand on the outside of your leg, tilt the pelvis under, go to the back. And slowly release, and then switch your legs. So same thing here. Knees gonna come in front of your toes, press your heel and your hip down. And then let's come up to 90 degrees at your knees, opposite arm at your front leg, tuck your pelvis, and let's go to the side. <laughs> That's good. I had my sweat for the day. That's good. I feel good. And that's the thing, I want you to remember as well how good you feel after the workout. You're gonna have way more energy to complete your day. Let's go in rotation. So tuck your pelvis under. You need to contract the glutes to be able to do that. Okay, then release, let's stand up. Open your legs. Bring your arms behind you. Open your shoulders and chest. and then switch. Good, and slowly release. Bring your legs back together. Triceps. If you want to go around, go for it. Switch your arms. And then we're going to do your calves and we're done. And I like switching the calves separate than hamstrings. Calves are tight, especially if you wear a lot of high heels. Good, and release. Let's go against the wall. Your foot is flat, so if the toes are touching the wall, step back, look under, make sure your foot is straight and bring your elbows right on the wall. Try to bend a little bit or sit into your lunge so you're bending the front leg. Good. And let's switch your legs. Again, look under, make sure your toes are neutral and bend the front knee. and release and let's breathe together inhale up and exhale two more times up to inhale exhale one more time up to inhale and exhale to release good job if you want more workout guys go on my uh, channel and you'll see more